Well, maybe you are a stock market master. Maybe you put money in your 401k and never even look at it. Wherever you fall on that financial spectrum, we all have something we can learn or at least something we can try to avoid. Here's Rena Sarginopoulos with seven investment mistakes you don't want to make. Money, it's hard. Well, at least for some people. Others seem to be pretty darn good at it. Either way, we all make mistakes. So we sat down with someone real smart about it to find out where we tend to go south and some solutions. First of all, before you get too deep into the investing weeds, don't forget an emergency fund. And definitely don't forget to max out your company 401k. Do the company match and then start piling up that emergency fund. Get it to your comfort level of maybe six months as a good rule of thumb and then start maximizing what you can put in to that 401k or 403b. Okay, so now you're staring at your portfolio. You know you should diversify, but there is apparently too much of a good thing. They try to buy too many funds within their allocation, and inside of those funds, they may actually be buying the same stocks and bonds. Um, so they think they're diversifying even more, but really they're not. And maybe they're pushing up their cost by uh, repurchasing the same stock and bond in another fund. If you're working with a financial planner, ask if they'll help you pick your allocations in your 401k. Some of them will. But when it comes to investing any extra money, don't make the mistake of blindly trusting the quote unquote experts. Remember, they're working for you and making money off of you. The plan should be crafted based on your input. What's most important to you? What are your dreams, goals, and desires for retirement? What's most important to you for your family? Going it alone? Fine, you got this. But when picking where to invest, don't fall into the trap of thinking historical returns have any bearing on future expectations. When you're looking at performance, most important isn't just which one did better or worse, it's performance versus their benchmark. And whatever you do, don't try to time the market. Trying to buy the right stock at the right time and then sell it at the right time is very, very difficult. It's been proven not to work. Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, the best investor maybe of all time, said their investment strategy uh, almost borders on lethargic. You know, they basically pick their positions and they stay in them. They're not trying to time the market. Having that plan in place will help you avoid one of the biggest mistakes, emotional investing. You need to have a plan in place that gives you comfort that whether the markets are bad or whether they're good, you're gonna be just fine so that you don't panic when it's low and you don't get too excited when it's high. So keep emotions out of the equation if you can. I know it's difficult, but if you can, you'll make better investment decisions. Good information. One more tip. If you're looking for big gains in your 401k, don't make the mistake of overthinking the asset allocation. Financial experts say how much money you're putting into it, the percentage of your paycheck, can maybe more important to the bottom line.